everyone, I'm Cameron and I'd like to welcome you to our lesson series on MCO God Speaks. A.W. Tozer states, It is God's nature that He speaks. Some of the means of how God speaks to us are through His creation, word, circumstances, people, dreams, visions, thoughts. What I would like to share with you in this series are some of my God encounter moments during MCO when I am indulging in the things that I will seldom do during normal times and the lessons that I have received which I would also like to share with you. I'm sure that during these past weeks, many of us would have discovered some of our hidden talents. Suddenly, you realize that you can cook so well or you realize that you can sing or play an instrument. I see photos of food all over social media, song and music covers and such. But today, I'd like to talk a little bit about gardening. And the lesson is entitled, Are you in a season of being uprooted and transplanted? I have a confession to make. I did not do the planting. I was just watching my sons. But I was fascinated by what I saw after many days. Let me share this photo with you. The seeds of these egg plants or green jaws were planted at the same time in the seed beds and then they were transplanted into different pots, the big one and the small ones. We are amazed at the result of what we saw. Some are still in that few leaves as you can see and the other one has grown into a mature plant bearing flowers and even fruits. Can you see that fruit? I observed another discovery. Look at this second photo. Two of the small plants were being uprooted and transplanted later on into a medium-sized pot. Can you see their leaves have grown? Allow me to share with you two of my observations and then to release specifically to some of you the revelation of a prophetic encouragement. The first thing that I noticed was that the size of the plant corresponded with the size of the pot. The bigger the pot was, the bigger the plant is. The smaller the pot was, the smaller the plant is. And that insight that I received is this. The capacity for growth of that plant depended on the size of the pot that contained it. Likewise, the capacity for us to grow in Christ depended on the size of our heart for Him. Let me repeat. The capacity for us to grow in Christ depended on the size of our heart for Him. In other words, the bigger our heart is for Christ, the greater we will grow in Him. Unless we do not want to grow spiritually, then we can remain where we are. But if we want to grow in Christ, and if we want to bear fruit for Him, then we will need to have a bigger heart to contain Him. A bigger heart to contain the magnificence of who He is. He is the Almighty God. To contain that He is the Holy God who will sanctify us, bring about a change in our lives, stretching us, molding us so that we will conform into the image of Christ. A bigger heart to contain that He is the one who will put all things back in order universally in accordance to His kingdom and His will. So no matter what is happening right now, nationally, globally, the Lord Himself will restore everything back in order and that His Kingdom will come and His will will be done. To contain uh, that He has raised us up to be part of the fulfillment of this plan and His purposes. Do we have that capacity to contain Him in our hearts? Ephesians 3.17 Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down in God's love and keep you strong. The capacity of our growth in Christ is dependent on the size of our heart for Him. Secondly, I notice the time factor. It is not about how long uh, it has been planted. All the seeds were planted and sown at the same time, but the difference in the result of the growth was tremendous. Applying it into spiritual context, it is not how long we have been a Christian. 
We may be a Christian for 20 years, but that does not mean that we have grown. We could still be a spiritual infant, just like that baby plant. We should have been by now bearing fruit. On the other hand, a person could be just a one-year-old Christian, but he or she may have grown so much spiritually and in spiritual maturity. Make it our goal, even as Colossians 1.10 says, to live a life worthy of the Lord and to please Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. The size of our heart for God matters. That our time does not determine our spiritual maturity. We have come to the final part of this session and it is the key in today's message. Have you ever been in a season whereby you sense that God is uprooting you and that He is transplanting you for greater growth? Are you seemingly coming to an end of something and that you need to move? Or have you been put in a situation whereby there is no way that you can stay? In the Bible, most if not all of God's chosen ones have been uprooted and transplanted. If Jacob remained where he was, there will be no 12 tribes of Israel. If Joseph remained where he was, and that the Israelites will not have been saved and they will not have been preserved from that famine. If Joshua remained where he was, the Israelites would not have entered the Promised Land. And if Jesus remained where he was, there will be no salvation. Jacob, Joseph, Joshua, Jesus, they were all being uprooted and transplanted for a greater purpose and that is to usher in the Kingdom of God on earth so that we might have the privilege to enter this Kingdom. The prophetic revelation that I receive is this. Some of you who are watching right now, this might be what the Lord is saying to you. Do not lose heart for I am the one who is doing the uprooting work in your life. You cannot remain in the seedbed of where you are right now because whence you cannot grow. The situation and the circumstance that you are facing right now is meant to challenge your faith. Be rooted and stand firm in that promise that I have spoken to you in my word. My wisdom be upon you, my grace is sufficient for you, and my strength be made perfect in you. Together with this, the Lord also released the following scripture text for you to meditate upon and uh, in your quiet time. Matthew 13, 44-46 the kingdom of heaven is like the treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine poles, who on finding one pole of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. So meditate upon this scripture text if it is meant for you. And for the rest, I will want to encourage you that this phase of global pandemic arrest is temporal. And all of us know that good times, bad times, they will come to pass. The question is, how have we allowed it to pass? If God stopped every of our day-to-day -day usual life to catch our attention to hear Him, what is He saying to you? What is that personal and individual message that He wants you to hear Him? When God speaks, it is always for good. My prayer for all of us, including myself, is that we do not stop listening to Him. God speaks. I do not assume that all of us are able to hear Him, but start by reading His Word. Start by talking to Him, praying, and ask the Holy Spirit to enable you. Shall we come before the Lord even right now? Let us bow our heads and let us pray. Father, we thank you for you care and you are concerned for us in all that we do and you constantly want us for our good. We ask that you continue to guide us, to lead us, to empower us in all that we do daily for your glory. 
Your word says your sheep will hear your voice. So right now, Father, we ask that God to open our spiritual ears so that Lord will be able to hear you speak to us. And for some of us who are right now in the season of being uprooted and transplanted, we ask that God, your grace and your wisdom will be sufficient. We ask that Lord, you will be with us even as we commit ourselves into your hands. Bless us as we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for joining us in our first session of MCO God Speaks. May you have a wonderful and fruitful week ahead of you. Take care, stay safe, God bless.